What's the difference between a Talacan and a Kukulcan? And what does any of this have to do with Black Panther? Keep watching to find out. With the release of the new trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, fans are excited to see actor Tenoch Huerta take on the role of Namor, the Submariner. Namor, who was Marvel's first comic book superhero, has never appeared in live action before, and his debut will come with a twist. In the comics, he hails from Atlantis, but in the MCU, his home will be an underwater land known as Talacan. This is a sensible choice by Marvel Studios, one that will prevent confusion for DCEU and MCU fans when it comes to similarities between Wakanda Forever and Aquaman. Talacan is most likely a reference to the Aztec paradise of Tlalocan, a level of the afterlife reserved for anyone who dies a water-related death. Tlalocan is ruled over by Tlaloc, the Aztec god of rain and thunder. This tweak to the city of Namor's origin opens a lot of possibilities for Namor's character, and it may also explain the new nickname given to the character in the recently released trailer. In the trailer, M'Baku says this of Namor. They called him Kukul Khan, the Feather Serpent God. Kukulkan is the name for a feathered serpent god in the mythologies of many cultures in Mesoamerica, including the Aztecs. Although his Aztec incarnation is better known as the even harder to pronounce Se Akatal Tolpitzin Quetzalcoatl. Could you repeat that, sir? Se Akatal Tolpitzin Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl is said to be from Tallinn, the capital of the Toltec civilization that preceded the Aztecs. One notable moment in the trailer finds Namor painting a mural on the wall of a building using a split conch shell to hold his paint. It's likely that this particular shell was chosen on purpose, as the conch is an item often associated with Kukulkan. A conch, often associated with Key West or the Caribbean, has its shell pectoral often seen on statues and images of Aekadal, the wind god incarnation of Kukulkan. Interestingly though, Kukulkan and Tlaloc aren't technically the same god in Aztec mythology, as Tlaloc is the god of rain, and Kukulkan is merely known to be a bringer of rain. It seems that the movie might be trying to fuse together the mythologies between these two figures. This could explain the character's ability to fly, which is somewhat of a mystery in the comics, as neither of his parents possess that ability. It also explains the headdress the character has been seen wearing in images from the movie, such as on the cover of the November issue of Empire Magazine. Wakanda Forever is clearly bringing a great deal of Aztec mythology into this sequel, and hopefully, it will provide as rich of a backstory as the first film gave to Wakanda itself. And since many peoples believed that Kukulkan was a kind of cultural savior destined to return to them, it's possible that even the people of Wakanda have foretold this coming. We'll all see the results when Wakanda Forever hits theaters on November 11th.